welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. one for you do today. you doesn't she's smell great pretty i'm kidding it smells really good oh okay well, i get dry wood right away i had to get my calculator fresh ground peanut butter Ooh. a little cinnamon vanilla brown sugar caramel Ooh, you're getting some good stuff like a, a perfumey maybe like a body spray strawberry okay It smells really good and very, very uh, typical bourbon. Typical bourbon. But, like, amplified, like, very strong smelling. Okay. I gave it a 4.25. Okay. With a question mark at the end, because I want to go higher, but I don't think I should. Okay. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Mm. It's a dry, nutty wood there. Peanut butter, black pepper, charry bitterness, a little leather, cinnamon, like a um, fireball cinnamon, not the liquor, the candy. Like an oak. I don't know if I've ever, ever, ever really had fireball. Whiskey? Yeah, I don't oh. think I've ever had it. Well, um, the first time for everything. Very tannic there's a lot of woody notes to it a lot of that barrel influences this is good strong vanilla like an extract you're getting a lot of smells and flavors and it's spicy too there. and i have beam and i have circle oh like i'm i'm 99 sure this is beam okay i just it's got that beam taste Got that boom, boom, that, bean. That good bean taste. So I already have a couple guesses that I tried not to let it affect Influence my score. You. Um, the finish is that peanut butter. Oh, what are you giving the taste? Calm down. Eight point two five. Okay. Sorry, I do. <sighs> nope. Eight point two five. Moving on. Finish. Make it eight point seven five. I do like it a lot. Oh. So that peanut butter, that wood, and that vanilla really sticks around for a long finish with a great mouthfeel. Um, the vanilla it sticks around the longest, and I think if you just sat here for like 10 minutes, still have that aftertaste. Now, peanut butter is not my favorite note. Peanuts in general isn't my favorite note. Mm -hmm. That's why it's a little harder to rate this one. Um, but it does go well. I'm going to give that a 4.5. That peanutty was a little lower. I'd probably rate everything a little higher. Now the look is dark. I don't know, mahogany? I was going to say mahogany. It looks mahogany-esque. It's very dark. A ton of streams. It's got a nice viscosity to it. Yeah, it looks, it looks nice. Mm-hmm. I'll give it a 2.5. That looks perfect to me. All right, guesses? It may just stick forever. Guesses? I see. Uh, see, it is spicy, so I had a little trouble. I guessed either Knob 15 or the Booker's that we have open. I, I don't know. It's one of those. Am I right? Ooh, I heard a lid. I know what that is. Wait, Booker's has a box too. But the Booker's is not in a box with their own wall. Not 15. Hey! Oh, beautiful red and gold color. So this is limited edition release. 2020. Um, it is 2020 released in June of 2020. Mashville is 77% corn, 13% rye, 10% malted barley. Um, Knob Creek has found its way into our hearts. Yeah, the nine year I used to like, and then mm. that nuttiness and the 100 proof just, Mer. it became not my favorite. 
Once I found the 120 proof for nine yeah. years, that one just blew me away. Then you have the 12 year. Yeah, 12 year is actually my favorite out of the whole line. I know. And not better good. than the store pick. That store pick I had, it's 15 year. Yeah. 120 proof. That was so, fantastic. True to form, this does come in this cute little stained box. It says Knob mm. Creek on it. On the back, it says Knob Creek Kentucky Street Bourbon Whiskey. Distilled and bottled by Knob Creek Distilling Company, Claremont, Kentucky. Jim Beam. Jim Beam. Sorry. Yeah. Jim Beam. I don't know why they always do that with every brand. A lot this of pretty... places do. They just give the name their distillery. Well, you know. Whatever. The box just brings up a presentation on this. Mm -hmm. I wish they did this for the 12, too. Yeah. I love the boxes. I need more shelving. Stop. So, we, <laughs> we, I'm dying. So we're past this up in Kentucky. We saw it for like 100 110 bucks. How much did you find it for, Lindsay? Well, for one, John was really pissed at me because I texted him after I bought it. Went to a good friend of ours, uh, works in a liquor store, and he said, Oh, I got something special for you. And he carried it out, and I was like, I want it. He was like, All right. And I was like, It's got to be under $100, though. And he's like, Okay. Rings it up $79.99. And I'm like, there's no fucking way. No way. Yep. Language. Sorry. So I was like, absolutely, I'm buying it. Well, then I text John and I said, how much did you pay for a knob 15? And he goes, well, we don't have the money to pay for that right now. It's too I expensive. I swore she said knob 12. And I'm like, I and already I have said, one. Why would she? And I said, so is $80 too much? And he was like, are you kidding me? And then he comes home and I was like, but, and he was like, Wait, it's 15 And I said, yes. Oh, and he man. goes, oh, okay. Then you got to steal. I would have paid more for that. I'm glad. <laughs> so I did pick it up. We did get it $20 under SRP, which I was super happy about. This is my Michigan is buying, good price so. here. I don't know why. That's our <sighs> state minimum. One, one good thing out of everything else that they do to us. but. And it comes in a beautiful box. Beautiful presentation. I am going to give it full points. Red's my favorite color. With the gold in the box. And it's like a, a like dusty red. It's like, I don't even know. Rustic red. Rusty or... red, like a, an old barn red. Yeah. I don't know. It's pretty though. So what does that bring my score up to if I give that? You're giving it full points? Yeah, 2.5. I'm going to dodge over here. 90. 90. Dang. I didn't think it was that. I didn't think I'd rate it that high. You didn't think it was that good, John? What did I give 12 here? You'll know at the end, but I don't know. Might have been a couple points higher. I think you gave it like a 93. Oh, I, I hope I don't lose credibility. Maybe I gave it in the 80s. I don't even remember. It's either like an 88 or a 93 or something. I don't remember. That's a wide range. Uh, yep. I'm you tell confident. Me that's not, that doesn't smell so good. Mm, it does smell very good. Well, any other thoughts? No. All right. There you have it. Nab 15. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.